Good morning, everybody. Um, wanted to check in with you guys. If you are, if you are like me, um, I can't stop thinking about the sister wives family, the TLC family, um, in the passing of Garrison Brown, as you guys all know, this past week, uh, tragically, he took his own life at just the age of 25. So um, the story continues to unfold. Um, news outlets are reporting a lot of different things. I think people continue to be extremely respectful of the family. They've asked for their privacy. Um, so it seems as though people are giving that to them. We do have Christine Brown, who put up a post yesterday, which was beautiful and just an incredible outpouring of support. It was a video. She says, Garrison was a wonderful, caring brother who understood Truly's need for a hobby and built her a flower bed. We'll miss him forever. Hashtag gratitude. Miss you. Love you. To those you love, tell those you love that you love them. Gwendolyn Brown wrote, Noel made a sand pit out of that flower bed. So many of you just outpouring of support. Um, Janelle said over and over on the show how much she loved her boys and children, sending healing thoughts and love. Um, Garrison was such a beautiful young soul. <clears throat> the police report's been released. We know the text messages, the last text messages before Garrison passed um, have also been released. I think that's painting. A, a lot of people have a lot of questions about this. Those may be answered. Um, th there are outlets that are saying, I think you've, you've probably seen it from the Sun to Daily Mail to Perez Hilton that say that the show, they are going to film the aftermath, everything that's happening for the show. I, you know, I guess time will tell on that. That hasn't come from TLC. TLC has not commented, I'm, of course, because I'm sure they're devastated. You know, they have people that have worked on that show for years and years and years. Cody Brown did a Mormon podcast earlier this fall, talked about the producer that's been with them forever, who he has this love-hate relationship with because the guy is great at getting their real emotions out of them, but also great at getting their real emotions out of them. So, um, I, you know, I don't know. It will be it will be interesting. I mean, this will change their lives forever. I don't know about you guys, but I've heard from many of you. So many of you have suffered losses in your own family. I, different situation for me, but losing my dad when I was 14. You know, you think about that person, you cry about that person for years. Every single day, you know, I still think about him. So, and how much they impact you. Now he has 17 siblings and, you know, four moms, a dad who are going to be thinking about him every day. That ripple effect goes on and on. Outlets, multiple outlets are saying that um, Garrison had trouble with alcohol prior to his passing. <clears throat> this is from the police report. The police report was released by Flagstaff, Arizona, uh, law enforcement. And it says that Janelle said that, quote, she should have gotten her son, Robert Garrison, help prior to the death of his apparent suicide. The, pr the day prior, Garrison's body was found at Flagstaff home by his brother, Gabe, as we know. The end, Janelle became concerned after learning of worrisome texts her son had shared. Now, they weren't shared with her, but they were on a group text. He had died from a self-inflicted gunshot wound. Giselle Ma Janelle made the comment that he stopped texting last night when speaking to police about Garrison, whom she wished she would have helped in the past as well. The police report did not elaborate on what kind of help Janelle had wanted to seek for Garrison, but his roommates and brother claimed that he had been battling issues with alcohol and had been, quote, depressed. Gabe indicated that Garrison had been struggling with mental health concerns and alcohol. However, he believed his older brother had been doing much better in recent times and had just started a new job. One roommate named Addison told officers that he had conversations with Garrison about being depressed lately. He stated that Garrison was, quote, an alcoholic and drinks every night. When asked if the reality star was intoxicated on the evening before his body was found, Addison told police he was went, that he was where he was when he last spoke to him said Garrison would ask him for late night rides to get food because he was too intoxicated to drive. However, Addison advised that Garrison has never said anything to him that would raise a red flag about possibly taking his own life. He did note that Garrison was having problems with his ex-girlfriend and he was not a very happy person. Addison's fellow roommate Tyler also told police that Garrison had issues with alcohol. 
He did not know if the TLC personality was getting any counseling for those issues. A third roommate named Cheyenne told police that she talked a little more in depth with Garrison about how he was struggling with drinking and depression. Janelle described in an October 2023 episode of Sister Wives how Garrison and Gabe's estrangement from their father, Cody, had been affecting her sons. Um, she said, I've worried about my boy's mental health. I just, it just breaks my heart so much. And um, apparently, uh, so we're learning kind of more of the full picture, but also in the past couple of days, it has come out that it does look as though Garrison, Gabe were still estranged from Cody and had been from about 2021, 2022. So it had been a couple years since they'd really had a relationship and contact, which, you know, I mean, I have wonderful parents, so I've never been in that situation. I can't imagine being estranged from my parents. Sometimes I know that can be certainly a good thing for your own safety and mental health, but I have to just imagine this family is <clears throat> just, you know, questioning everything and taking it all in. Um, no funeral arrangements have been announced publicly. The family continues to mourn, obviously. And, um, like I said, we're we're getting more of those kind of facts surrounding what happened that night. And we'll continue to keep a close eye on it. Yes, we'll get you your passy. I know. We're just wrapping up. Isn't your passy over on the table? Yeah. Anyway, um, just wanted to check in with you guys. I, I think um we're all feeling those of us who have watched the show forever just still so impacted by it. And I think we all want to be respectful for the family and yet you know, know what's happening and, and how they're going to move forward. If, you know, if the show was going to continue and certainly a lot of you have expressed, it shouldn't continue. I mean, that's a decision for TLC and the family to make and family members. Um, you know, when you are on reality TV for 14 years, incredibly long time, you've shared a lot. All right. You know, are you going to share something as tragic as this? So we will see things will continue to unfold in the next couple of days. Um, guys, thanks for your your comments. And um, like I mentioned, I just have been, I think, heartened by how respectful people have been and kind and the outpouring of messages on Mary's posts, Janelle's posts, and on um, Christine's that we just saw last night. A lot of people said, well, why, why was there such a delay in Christine's Hosting, I I said this, I've said this on every podcast and long before these podcast updates, unfortunately, but Christine's account is like run by a marketing firm. You know, she has her Plexus MLM. She's promoting um, menopause pills, like all kinds of things. So it's not run by her. So I'm sure, you know, last night's post was genuine and, and by her, of course, um, but family's so deeply affected. And I think just takes me back to when I was 25. You know, your mental health is so fragile then. And you just can't see, you can't see the big picture through what's happening right now, right then in that moment. So definitely check on your loved ones, uh, overly check and, you know, uh, call the suicide prevention hotline, text it. <sighs> I'm like, probably going to use that on too many people. I'll be like, use this, please. Make sure you're okay. All right, guys, for further updates, you can stay here with the podcast. Um, you can always look on my TikTok at the Sarah Frazier Show, and we continue to just pray, pray, pray for the Brown family that God may cover them in this difficult time. All right, bye, guys.